Hello gang. Hello friends. Hello gang friends. Welcome back. Thank you for joining me today. I hope this video finds you well. Are you well? I hope you're well. If you're new here, hello. My name is Jo. <laughs> Live do nail stuff. <laughs> We're going to be using some big tips from <laughs> from McCart. They're the X double XL tapered squares. They don't come in that box. I put them in it and labelled it, of course. But I thought it'd be fun to do these on big nails so we can just see more of the ooh. And we're starting with Madame Glam's Perfect Black, which is just the most amazing coverage. I haven't got enough on my brush, but it still covers the nail. Super opaque. Speaking of Madame Glam, there's a 50% discount code coming up in this video when I get a set to tell you about it for the 16th and 17th of this month. We're now taking the Vetsy Meteor 01, was it? And holy smokes, this is bananas. It's a cat eye, super holographic. So we're going to bring out the zhuzh with a cylinder magnet. And then we're going to push it into a sort of S shape by coming in from one side and then in from the other side. And then just kind of faff around with it until you're happy. Faff like a fucking champion. And then once you're, ha once you're happy with it, pop that in the lamp. And I like the fact that when you where the gold bit isn't, there's so much sparkle going on in that. It's insane. I do have a code for all the things I'm using today, for all the places that the things are from. I have codes in the description box, so always check them out because I have discount codes for loads of nail places. Madame Glam, McCart, Born Pretty, Vetsy, Colourful July, Model Ones. Um, there's some other discount codes in there for non-nail stuff, so always check them out. This is the um, Madame Glam Super Cat Eye. The only reason I'm putting this on top is because it's got a more intense glow than that gold area had. And I want, and I think it's going to add a bit of depth for the step we do next. And I'm trying to put it over where the gold bit is so that we still have all that black sparkly area. And then we're going to cure that. And then we're going to get rid of all of those colours <laughs> by taking the Born Pretty, one of their jelly ones. This is red and then wait for it. Look at ah oh, oh my word. I sent a picture of this to a client who I knew would like it, my neighbour. And she just replied, Me So she had this the other day on all ten nails and it looked insane. Um so that is just a way that you can use a jelly colour to change whatever's going on underneath. So you've got the different cool effects. But I wanted them in red, but I didn't have them all in red. But I had a red jelly polish. And look at that. Oh, it's so dark and delicious. We've called it. We've given it a name. It's Immortal Chill. <laughs> there is reasons for it being called that. But that's that's what we're calling this combination of products. Immortal Chill. I love it. That's with the flash on, I believe. I could have gone over it with all different rainbow colours. That would have been insane. Okay, next up we have Oh What Fun, which is a Madame Glam black holographic reflective gel. And I'm, I've got the flash on here while applying it because it would be criminal not to. This is bananas. I'd even go as far as to say it's coconuts bananas. Um, so we'll get a coat of that on the reason i put black down first was because i wanted this as a background but i didn't want to do two coats because it's so amazing i don't want to use it <laughs> so i put a black down as the backbone and then oh i just there are no words look at it so we'll cure that and these are the magnets I'm, no, I'm using the one on the right, the fatter one. The skinny one was from a nail place. The fatter one was from eBay. I just searched cylindrical magnet um, and it's super powerful. But the other one works just as fine, but I, I tend to go for the fatter one. I'm taking these. These are the 9D Nicole Diary cat eyes from 
Born Pretty store. Um, they're super bright when you um, bring out the zhuzh. Uh, I do show you which two I'm using in a sec. And I'm taking the Vetsy application brush. Brr, brush, brush. And we're bringing out the zhuzh with the fat magnet. So we'll bring that all over and then we're going to push it. I think again, oh yes, we're going in a sort of S on this one as well. I do, it doesn't look like I'm doing anything right with these magnets. It, it shows different. The way the camera's looking down on it is a different view to what I see it being in front of the nail. So it's, it's showing the cat eye from a different angle to what I'm making it. Um, <laughs> Also, I was just faffing around a bit, really, just having fun watching the thing, watching it. Try again. Watching the glow <laughs> move around all over the place. So I've cured that. And now I'm taking, oh, that was CaO3. And this is CaO2 ND before that. So we've cured the purpley one. And now we're going over with the tealy one. Oh, forgot to say... I think 99, all bar one of these are, I've seen them on the do, 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 Daily Charm Instagram. They've got loads of videos on there. It's really good. They've got lots of little videos. And I wanted to do cat eye and I saw loads on there. So most of them are um, recreating things from there. Must say that. So we're going to do the same with this one, but we're going to do the wiggle in the opposite direction. So we're coming in from the top right, pushing it over to the left. And then from the bottom left, pushing it over to the right. I really have to think about my lefts and rights before saying them. And then I kind of lost a bit of the the glow. So just trying to sort of bring that out. Ended up getting a little doubly bit. That was nice. And then we're curing. And now I'm taking, calm yourself. Can everyone just please calm down? Thank you. We're taking the crystal picker wrapper which is from Vetsy, that gold one. Oh, and this is the Zero Short from Crystal Nails. And we're using the metal end of the picker-upper. It's the tiniest dotting tool I've seen, so it's great for this. And we're going to do some dots where we want some stars. We haven't put any product on the this brush, so we're only using the product from the dot, which means we're getting some really nice, thin wispy lines for the stars and I really like that so if you want if you, if you use your brush to make the dot then you've got product on your brush so just you can wipe it off but this had no product on so it really did get thin wispy stars because it was only using the product from the dot therefore you weren't going to get a thick line because there just wasn't enough stuff to do that and then we added some dots um, for some more stars Oh, this one I think is my favourite. So all that, that oh what fun in the background, the reflective sparkly black, um, is now sort of billions and billions of stars. Billions of years ago! What was that from? Ross and Rachel's first date. And that's it with the flash on. You can do these on shorter nails, absolutely. Um, I just thought I'd do them on big ones because we'll have more pretty stuff to look at. Speaking of pretty stuff to look at, did you notice the ring I was wearing <laughs> in the intro? I know, it's insane. This is my client's ring. She's also my next door neighbour. This is, I just wanted to show you because it's amazing. This is a, a citrine, like an actual real 100% citrine stone. <laughs> it's the biggest, I don't know. I think she brought it around to show me one day and I was just in hysterics at how huge this was and I said oh can I show the gang she said yeah so it's now in my possession I might sell it and run away and kidding I would never um, but I wanted to show you because who doesn't want to see the biggest ring I think many of us will ever have seen so that's that thank you Glennis for my little show and tell right next up back to nails we're taking the Born Pretty this is from the Sea Blue Cat Eye Collection, which I showed you in a video the other day. A couple of videos ago, had a big haul of goodies, and this was in there. So if you want to see that, um, head over to my channel. I'll put a link in the description. Ugh, I've just made things difficult for myself. We're bringing out the zhuzh all over, and then we're pushing up from the bottom. 
see how we got rid of all we deleted the zhuzh from the bottom area and this is the second coat doing the same we want the bottom area to have no zhuzh so we're going to push up from there that's it and then cure that was two coats and now we're topping because we're going to chrome we're going to do a, a cat eye to chrome ombre fade gradient whatever you like to call it so i'm using this i think that that top one would go better but i'm going to use this one because i think it'll, it'll make it more coppery that, that's from amazon i'll try and find a link and put it in the description i'm using my finger so that we can fade it up and then i'm switching there to the one that didn't have it on so it gets less and i can fade up thought it needed a bit more back to the one that i'd used to pick it up blend it up then back to the one that didn't and blend it up and because the cat eye sort of is its own gradient where it sort of zhuzh sprinkles out towards the bottom it doesn't take a lot for it to get a nice blend and now 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 what are we doing now we're taking these are from um, Crystal Parade another place that I have a code for oh need to talk to you about the 50% off code um, we're going to add some bling at the top. I found these little gold triangles from, I don't know where. That was so much stuff that I have no idea where it's from. Um, but the bling and the other bling that we're going to use in a minute is from Crystal Parade, which I do have a code in the description for. Uh, oh, and caviar beads. We'll plonk some of those around it and then we'll cure and we'll top coat to seal in everything and obviously we need to top coat anyway so we'll use that as a sealy sealy majig this is the mccart gem gel best gem gel ever um and there you go apart from the, the bottle the lid breaks but apart from that it's amazing the 50 percent off code for madame glam for the 16th and 17th which is what's the date today uh the 14th so not so tuesday and wednesday is Miss Joe 50 for a whopping 50% off. If you want to get some new summer, oh, look at that. That's my favorite, I think. Oh, it was the other one though. Oh, it's so gorgeous. So clever, whoever um, came up with that. That's brilliant. Uh, what was I saying? Discount code? Oh yes, if you need to get some colors for summer, now is the time. 50% off and um, there's an affiliate link in the description if you could use that that would be fantastic and then the code miss joe 50 uh it's oh it's a minimum of two items or three items but you're getting 50% off so it's like one and a half items minimum um which won't be difficult so now we're taking the sea blue cat eye this is number eight from born pretty we're going to do two coats of bringing out the zhuzh there are so many cool things you can do with magnets i mean i'm doing a couple on this a few on this video but some more cool like more difficult things so let me know if you want some more magnet videos um because i love doing them and now we're taking the frosting art gel from madame glam and their application brush i've paused here so you can see how much i've got on my brush a sort of big blob and I was going to put it on and use a tool to make kind of the shell lines you know just like that but then I realized the brush was doing it so we'll just leave it like that I think I did go in with the dotting tool to um, define some a bit or straighten them up but this art gel it's not the sculpting one that's sort of not sticky and you make you sculpt with it's um, thinner but thick still so it's not moving around, but it is still sticky. You can't put it in your hands and, and mould stuff. Um, and now we're taking the end of that dotting tool again, wiping it off because it collects a bit, and just adding some lines, straight one down the middle and then going out as we get to the sides. Smooth out that bit at the top. And look at that! Super easy shell-looking shit. Um, and now... We are using, this is also from Amazon, I'll try and find a link. We're using the blue one, these are sort of unicorn ones so they're not fully opaque. 
and we're going to go straight onto this art gel and I did check first I did a little test and it does take chrome because obviously a really tacky layer trying to put some kind of chrome pigment this is going to go horrible but this did take it so it must dry it must cure quite tack free and it's added this green mermaidy vibe and I'm all here for it <laughs> I'm taking the McCart gem gel again far too much on my um, tool we're going to do so I'm just stretching it out I'm going to do a line I'm going to add these little pearls which are from um, a just a nail art wheel from eBay do you ever go to get say some gem gel or something and then put a tiny what you think oh these are crystal parade again we're going to use the blue ones and we're going to use the light green ones bottom left on this um, not these ones I'm showing you but I just wanted to show you the sparkle when you go to get um, a tiny bit of bit more paint or gem gel or whatever on a brush and you think that's the tiniest amount that's fine for the area I need to do and then you get to the nail and it seems like you've got an entire bucket of the stuff on your brush because you think tiny amount nails are small and then when you move over to the nail with the brush you're like oh no nails are fucking small and I've got loads here um it always makes my clients laugh when I go to dip my brush in a bit of paint and I put I put the tiniest amount on and then wipe most of it off <laughs> because nails are so small and everything is so tiny so we've added some bling to that um, and then some caviar bees just to look like a kind of treasure chest in a messy order. It, it, you know, you open up a treasure chest. The tre treasure, isn't, treasure isn't symmetrically placed in there. And then we've topped over, but we've put some pressure down when we're topping because we don't want to fill in the gaps between each of these raised um, lines that we've created because otherwise you'll lose them. So you do have texture on this nail. You could do it smooth, but you would lose a lot of those um, streaks because you're smoothing it all out. And that is that. Oh, I fudging love that. I mean, my streaks could have been neater, but I'm going to say that, that it's more organic. Now we're taking Kevin from Madame Glam. And we're going to do... Oh, and the Ultra Liner, which is that. <laughs> And we're going to do the ombre illusion, the optical illusion ombre trend that was a while ago. And we're going to do it with cat eyes. So we're going to use the zhuzh as our ombre. So we'll get this on. If this was a person, I'd be working the other way around. I'd be working top. And then I'd bring the polish down to where I want the top sides of the smart light to start. And then I'd use the polish that we've got on there to create the smart line, bringing it down. Did that make any sense? Get where you want. Yeah, I think it did. <laughs> where you want the sides to be of the smart line. Oh, yeah. Camera cut out. Where you want the sides to be, bring the polish down to there. Where you want the top of the sides to end. And then you can make the smart line. Um, I just did it backwards on here because it was easier because there's no person in the way, in the bloody way. And this is the second coat because my camera cut out. So I'm pushing the cat eye. I'm actually pulling from the right to the left here because this pulls it. But I also want to push from the left to the right because we want there to be a non zhuzh part and a zhuzh part. And you see how it will... See here, I'm pulling the zhuzh over to the centre a bit. Moving up and down to get a sort of straight a line as possible through the center of the smile line and I did so that was two coats and now we'll do the bottom part and we'll do it exactly the same but we'll just have the zhuzh on the left instead of the right and that will give us a um, our ombre and our optical illusion that's not really right for optical illusions aliens maybe do you believe in aliens? I 100% believe in aliens. Not necessarily, you know, the ones that we see in the films. 
but we're a speck around a star and there's billions of stars and billions of galaxies there's just no way we're the only should i be talking about the nails it's too late i'm talking about aliens there's no way we're the only living thing in the entire universe it would be pretty you know what's the word um it's the second coat at the bottom bit pretty sort of not arrogant that's the wrong word ignorant maybe not that word either just why would we why of everything out there would we be the only planet that shit happened on you know let me know what you think about aliens do you believe in aliens right um <laughs> sorry about that i've just ordered i've just or i'm bringing out the church i've just ordered a new pop socket for my i did trade my phone in for a smaller size if you're wondering it was hurting my hands and i need those so we'll top this that will be it um but i've just ordered a new pop socket that's it's a tide pool one that's got like glitter and aliens and planets and shit floating around in it so that's our optical illusion ombre i like it what do you think easier well actually no because the doing the one with the polish um i have a video for that i'll link that as well that was so much easier than i expected as well so um both fun now we're taking the super cat eye again and we're going to do two coats of this and we are not doing a swirl or anything we're just going to bring out as much zhuzh as is usually possible um and then we're going to stamp on it oh no i'm not keen well i don't know how i feel about this one you'll have to let me know what you think we're taking this plate which is qa girl which is not a brand i've heard of and i have no no recollection of ever buying anything from there but i have it so if you like it google them we're taking the moyu stamping polish in black and we're not using this stamper but i wanted to show you this one's from a cart because i love it but it i found a bigger one that will suit the long nail better just thought i'd show you because it's pretty we're taking the clear jelly stamper, which is huge, um, and a scraper. And we're going to plonk a bunch of the polish on here. The first one didn't pick up properly, so that's why the paper towel is a, a mess already. And then we'll scrape off and we work quickly. And then look at that pick up. We had to pause. The first one didn't pick up very well, but this one was delicious. And then we're going to stamp it on there. Fair bit of pressure. And then roll to make sure your sides. And I rolled, I went to the top as well. Sort of rolled up and rolled down a bit. And that covered the whole nail, which I was really surprised at. So we will, well, I wanted to leave it like this because that looks gorgeous. But the plan was to do something else with it. So in case I didn't like it, I topped it first, which I probably wouldn't do if I knew I was going to keep the next step, which I did end up doing. But if you're worried about your stamping polish, which does dry quickly. Oh, clean your plates. Remember that girl who was like, clean your stamping plates. I do clean them when I finished using them. Um, these are Born Pretty Clear Jelly Polishes. Um, I'll leave those for a sec or you can pause if you want to know what they're called and we're taking the petal brush from Madame Glam and then I my camera cut, it, uh, cut out or I didn't press record or something but we're going around in circles and I haven't cured any of those colours yet um, yes if you're worried about your stamping polish um, sort of bleeding or, or what's the word like smudging when you do this step then you could, or if you're worried you're going to mess it up or whatever, put a base coat down, cure it, and then you can go over it. And if you do make a mistake, you can wipe it off um, and redo it, or and it won't smear any of the stamping polish. But it does dry really quickly, um, so it should be fine. But I put a top coat down in case I wanted, in case I didn't like this, which I don't really. I mean, I do, but I think I preferred it plain. So before curing, we're taking the 
Madame Glam Ombre brush. I would recommend getting their brushes in the 50% sale. I love them all. Um, I use them all the time. And we're just wiggling. I was pulling from the centre outwards first, but thought it, it wasn't going how I wanted. So I end up just kind of sort of patting and wiggling between the colours. Because they are jellies, they, they don't take a lot to blend. They blend really easily, especially doing the red into orange, orange into yellow, like that. So we'll just pat it all over and we'll cure. And then I thought the blue and the purple needed a bit more. I'd lost them a little bit. So we're going to add some more of just those. And then we'll blend those together or wiggle them together. And then wiggle the blue over to the green section a bit. But again, because it's jelly, you're not. it's not going to show... Um, it's not going to be streaky or anything. There are a couple of areas where I've got sort of the the colour is a bit thicker. So it's a bit more opaque. Um, still jelly, but a bit deeper in colour. And I've missed a spot in the bottom left, but it's fine. Don't worry. And then we just top. So great for stained glass as well. If you put a cat eye underneath and then put the jelly on top. But that glow. <gasps> yeah, it's a bit me It's a bit messy. It's a bit messy, Joseph. But it's fine. Um, just as to how to do that sort of thing. Um, and that is the last one. Sorry for talking so fast. Uh, I'm very aware of that. I'll tell you why. Because I thought the video was a lot longer. So I've sped everything up a bit. Turns out I just added on an extra video from like a year ago on the end. Deleted that and was like, oh, it's not that long. Anywho, don't forget the 50, 50% 50 off Madame Glam on the 16th and 17th, which is Tuesday and Wednesday of this month and use code MISSJO50. Get your summer colours, get your cat eyes, get your brushes, stock up on top coats and base coats. I mean, do what you want. You don't have to do those things. You can buy whatever you like. Um, I hope you do get some goodies. Do let me know in the comments if you do. And let me know which one of these is your favourite. And should we do some more magnety things? Let me know. I appreciate you being here so, so much. Like and subscribe. And I will see you in the next one. Bye. -bye.